Hello, Brenton with All at Octane here. In this video, I'm going to open up some of the more recent matchboxes that I was able to find. So without further ado, we're just going to get into opening them up. First up is the 51 Hudson Hornet in blue. So we've seen this one, I think, a couple times. It might have been in red for a fire chief, a black and white for a police chief. So now we have another blue one. And this one is a patrol car, Matchbox County Police. I was able to take that off camera just real fast for to clarify for you guys so you can kind of see in case you can't read it on the camera but there it is in blue just side tampos no top no front no back uh, it's kind of plain but it is a nice car uh, it does fit that kind of 50s vibe for sure and if you're able to find this one you can kind of determine what you think in person if you'd uh, like to pick it up or not so there's that one Next up is the 71 Oldsmobile Vista Cruiser. Now this one I believe is a retool or recoloring of this one. Um, in terms of, it was released before, now it's released again, and I think the way you can determine that is the dogs in the back of the Cruiser. So this one has two dogs in the back, and they're in black, um, and they're both facing out. And I think if you find the other one, the original one from a year or two ago, it has them in a different kind of position. Um, I think the color might be slightly different as well. Uh, so yeah, it does have these really cool kind of wheels. I've kind of grown, I've grown to like these wheels. I don't know if you guys do, but I've kind of grown to like it. Uh, again, the color is on point for this era of car and it's showing up very well on camera. So you guys are getting a really good representation of what the color is. Next up is the 70 Datsun 510. So we kind of have a little bit of a 70s theme going on here. This one doesn't have any side tampos, it just has top tampos. I'm gonna open, go ahead and open this one up. When the first one came out in orange, it had a wheel variation. So there were two wheel variants of this car. I apologize, it's kind of hard to focus this thing. There we go. So there is the top tampos on it. None of the things up top are tampoed with any any colors, but it does have the um, six, spokes, six spoke rims on it. And again, the original one in orange had a, two variations of rims. So we'll see if this one comes out with any rim variants as well. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and open up the NASA truck. So there it is, the, let's see, mission support vehicle. That's what they're calling this one. Uh, Let's open it up and find out. Let's see what we've got. Uh, Matchbox has definitely come a long way. Uh, so let's see, this one looks like it has something that opens. Maybe not. I'm trying to see if I can open this on camera for you guys. Oh, there it goes. It does open, look at that. There you go. So the back end does open. Uh, looks like there might be, I'm gonna take it off camera for you guys real fast just to try to see. Doesn't look like there's anything in there, so you can just see straight through it, uh, but it does have NASA launch and flight operation support. So there that is, it's pretty cool. It's got the um, clear, clear top. This is all plastic, the only metal on this is the base. So there you guys go, the NASA launch control van. Now we have the Volkswagen 74 Volkswagen Type 181 which I believe is a Volkswagen thing. I think that's kind of what they call them. And it says, yeah, on the front license plate on the package, it says 74 thing. So I believe that's what it is. Let's try to see if they have that on the front of the vehicle. Do they? I believe they do. Look at that. That's pretty cool. There's a movie that I remember from my childhood called Extreme Days. If you're familiar with it, they drive one of these in that movie. So uh, if you're not familiar with it, you can Google it if you want to. But yeah, this is a pretty cool vehicle. It's nice to, to see this as a casting. I can't believe, I can't remember if they've done this before. Have they done this before? If you guys know, let me know. I believe they might have done this before, but it's nice to see it uh, on the main lines where you can pick it up again. It's a great color, white, interior blue, exterior, front tampos, rear tampos. Um, it's a... Yep, 74 thing. And I kind of like the rims on this one. The rims do look pretty good with it. So, 
I apologize for the focusing issues. All right, next up, this one is a highlight. This one is fantastic, the 75 Chevy Caprice. Uh, I have a feeling these cars are gonna kind of start to grow up, grow in value. They're kind of coming out in die casts and it's starting to, they're starting to be uh, popular in die casts. So I have a feeling eventually they'll start to pick up in real life. That pace will, will grow. It does have side tampos, no top tampos. It's a very uh, smooth, clean paint job. The interior is a nice warm brown slash tan, clear windshield. It does have a, a plastic base, but it's kind of a goldish color, so it does fit the goldish paint job very well. Uh, it would be cool to see some rear tampos on this one because the, the tail lights on these were all the red uh, would be fantastic. But it's still a very clean casting. I know it's very popular, so it's nice to pick this one up. Next up, we have the 2018 Jeep Wrangler. Uh, I'm sorry, what is that? The JL Unlimited, that's right. So it's the new one. You can kind of tell the new Jeeps based on the front headlights. It indents into the grill. So the new JLs, if you notice the grill on a Jeep and the, the ends are indented into the headlights or the headlights indent into the grill, that's how you can tell the new brand new Jeeps from the older Jeeps. So this one was actually a surprise. I didn't actually see anybody else on the internet open this up yet. And uh, again, I've been a little behind. I've been very busy. Uh, I had some illnesses, uh, family come in, holidays, traveling, and um, work's just been really busy. So I apologize, but this is a wonderful color for a Jeep. Uh, it is a um, Rubicon, so they've got the Rubicon trim on it. It says it on the front fender there. And this is, a spectacular casting. There's not a whole lot of tampos going on just on the side and the rear. They don't have any front tampos, but uh, it's a great color for a Jeep. And it, this one actually is coming up fantastic on camera, but it almost does look better in person. So if you find it, definitely pick it up. It's wonderful. And Jeeps are very, very popular right now, especially with the new Gladiator coming out. So there's that is. All right, this one, I am super excited of the Western Star uh, 6,900 6, XD, 6,900 XD, it's the Wrecker. I never bought any of these when they first came out, uh, back in probably 2009, 10, uh, the real working rigs. I didn't buy them and I regret every minute of that because tow trucks are my favorite thing. So to see a heavy duty tow truck coming back out in red, which is my favorite color, that just was, made me so happy. So I picked this up as immediately. Um, my budget right now is very, very slim to none. So I wouldn't, I wasn't able to pick up more than one, but there we go. It's got the boom that goes, uh, oh, it goes back and forth. It goes up and down and it goes, uh, the underlift comes down, I believe. Let's see. It does somehow. Oh, let's see. Oh yeah. Cause the hook comes out, it goes up and down. It goes back and forth, and the underlift can come down as well. So you can extend the hook out, put the underlift down, and scoop up cars. The fact that this thing is in red is all the better, and it is um, aug wires, egg wires, uh, egg wires towing is on the side of it. So spectacular truck. I'm so glad to finally add one of these heavy duties to the fleet. Hopefully I can eventually find more tow trucks. Hopefully they'll come out with more. I love the flatbed uh, or the rollback and I'd love to pick up more heavy duties um, as if I could afford them. Or, and as they come out with them, maybe recolors would be spectacular. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen, the Matchboxes, the Matchbox cars that I was able to find recently. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, just let me know. I'd love to interact with you guys in the comments. It's been great so far. Thank you so much for watching my videos. And until the next one, happy hunting.